I'd rather not have to get involved in running local governments, but it does affect the rest of the state. Uh, and Memphis being a good example, uh, they have incredible amounts of debt over there, so they've been irresponsible uh, with that. And in their, quite frankly, playing politics, trying to make uh, their, their union people happy uh, by, by increasing these wages and having an increased minimum wage, which is considered anti-business from every business person in the area. And it, it affects all the counties, not just West Tennessee. It goes into Memphis is the economic hub of eastern Arkansas and northern Mississippi, too. And if you've been to northern Mississippi lately, you, you see what the effect of Memphis city government has done because they, there's been a land rush in north Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I think it's proper for the state to get involved in local matters a lot of the time. Uh, we would rather not, uh, but they're going to have to make reasonable decisions uh, to keep us from doing that. Yeah, I'd add one more thing. The voters in the state, in the rural areas, in the suburbs, and in the small towns have so resoundingly told the Democratic Party they don't like their philosophy that their, their last bastion is in the big cities. And so they're having their little social experiments in the big cities. But it affects more than just the city limits, the people within the city limits when they do that. And that's when we have to step in. And, uh, and, and what really kills me is when the guys that screech about uh, the, the, they don't have local control, local control are the ones that want the federal government to do every single thing for us from the moment we're born until we're, until we're dead. So I would call out their hypocrisy on that.